everyone, long time no talk. Uh, I'm here today because I wanted to talk really quickly about my five star TBR prediction and give you an update on that. I've actually read six out of the seven books that I put in that original TBR, I want to say back in November, and I wanted to go through what I thought about those books and if they made it to a full five stars or not. So the original seven books that were in that TBR were The House of the Spirits by Isabel Allende, Big Little Lies by Leanne Moriarty, My Dog is Just Flipping Over and Going Crazy, Human Acts by Hong Kong, Reading with Patrick by Michelle Quo, Columbine by Dave Cullen, Men We Read by Jasmine Ward, and Evicted by Matthew Desmond. So out of all of those, one got five stars, and mostly it was because of its impact and how I felt like I related to it, not as much per se a because of the writing, though I did find the writing was good. And that was Michelle Kuo's book, uh, Reading with Patrick. I thought it was just really left an impact on me and was compassionate and thoughtful on the issues of education and how race and poverty affect how kids get educated in this country. And even like rural uh, schooling and like how that affects a kid's opportunities for work and completing his education. Two of the six books got 4.5 stars, so they were so close to five stars. And really, I think Reading with Patrick could be here. And that was Evicted and Columbine. Evicted just took me a little bit to get into and I didn't read it as quickly as Reading with Patrick and it was kind of hard at first to see like how all of these people are connected because there's a lot of people you're following. Towards the end it just became such a heart-wrenching story about inequality in America and housing in America and I really 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 enjoyed it and I could tell how much Matthew Desmond really put into this project. And then the other book was Columbine, which I also thought was a very well done history of the Columbine um, massacre and looking at multiple aspects and multiple families and following them through such a long time span, like more than 10 years, to see how what happened still reverberates in their lives. Um, and I just thought that the narrative was really well done and easy to understand and easy to follow, but still highlighting and showing us different aspects that don't really stay with us when we think about the Columbine massacre and what happened then. So I really like that one and I've supplemented it by reading other things too. So I definitely think that's not the only thing you should read about Columbine. Two books out of the seven got four stars and that was Big Little Lies and Men We Read. Big Little Lies I felt didn't live up to my expectations of it because of how much I love the show um, and that's not its fault. I probably should have read the book first. It was still great. I just felt that it was a little bit more in your face and not so in comparison to the show and how quiet that show is but I still really enjoyed it and it was really fun on audio with an Australian accent. Men We Reap was probably the most recent one that I've read out of all of these and that one also got four stars from me. It was um, very interesting to compare to Salvage the Bones and to also just get to hear more about Jasmine Ward, like her personal life, all of these men in her life that died and how important they were to her and like how at different stages of her life this, these things would happen to her. So I thought it was a very interesting portrayal of growing up in the South. I just think that with all Jasmine Ward's books, I feel like they're very somber. A lot of people really, really enjoy her writing, and I do too, but I don't think that like her style is really ever gonna get to five stars for me, per se. The last one, one book got 3.5 stars, and this was kind of the most shocking one out of all of these, and that was Human Acts by Hong Kong. I rated The Vegetarian four and a half stars, and I I still think about this book to this day and I like continue to defend it even though a lot of people really liked Human Acts better and I just think we have different tastes in that and I, I really like the messed up thrill kind of way that the vegetarian posed this mental disorder slash misogyny slash you know societal expectations of women. I liked how that was portrayed in The Vegetarian more than I like the very all-encompassing with so many characters and kind of sometimes hard to follow look at this country going through turmoil in human acts. It still left me with a lot to think about but I I think The Vegetarian is better for me. So yeah, the only book out of all these seven books that I have not read is The House of the Spirits by Isabel Allende. I've checked it out from the library once, I think, and it just, it's such a thick book, and I've honestly not been much in the mood to read lately. I've been reading a lot of graphic novels, and I've just been reading, like, 
mysteries instead and I don't know if like a saga is what I'm in the mood for but I have seen that so many of my Goodreads friends have it on their TBR so if you're one of those people and you think that you might want to read this with me maybe we could get a group together to read it together. I mean everybody loves this book and has really um, felt that it's well done and does something really big in a masterful way and Isabella Allende is well regarded so I want to try it but I feel like I need a little bit of backup and some help so if you want to read this book let me know in the comments and maybe we could think of a time frame that might be good to read it and it might not be the summer because maybe it's not a summer read but just in the future it's a book that I still want to read but that I don't feel like I'm going to read anytime soon for this video of my reviews for my five star books so that's it. I read six out of the seven and I think that's good enough to get this video out. If you've read any of these, let me know in the comments and let me know if you've done this prediction video and if it's gone according to plan or if not a lot of books live up to that five star prediction that you have in your head before you actually read it. So yeah, thanks so much for watching and I'll see you around. Bye! If you are one of the characters you don't really see, Sam, please, you're, please, thank you.